Hey guys, this is Jadira Saramad. Welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to the second episode of our vlogging series. For those of you guys who are here for the first time, basically Fatma Sajwani and I have teamed up to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that we get. We have been vlogging for quite some time now and we have some tips and tricks up our sleeves. So stay tuned and take notes. All right guys, so in today's video, we will be talking about how you can make money through blogging. But please bear in mind that blogging is not the kind of business that would make you rich overnight it takes time and it takes a lot of hard work but above all you have to be passionate about it in order to make it work for you so the first way that you can make money through blogging is actually something very common you might even know about it it's something that's like very frequently suggested and is that you basically use google adsense on your blog so how google adsense work is basically that you install the Google ads on your blog you can do that by going in your you know like blogging platforms dashboard you can find tons of tutorial on that online so you can always check those out but what basically happens is that Google plays ads relevant to your target audience and if they click on those ads you generate a small amount of revenue but like I said that the revenue is actually quite small so it's not something that you know you can make a lot of money out of and it would work for you if you have phenomenal statistics and you know you get tons of page views every day but um, if you are someone who's starting out it might not you know pick up that quickly for you and google ads in general do pay you like a very small amount it can be like something 0.01 dollar per click or per view and that's basically like nothing so you know you would spend an eternity trying to earn money through just that so the second method how you can uh, generate money through blogging is by actually affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing for those of you guys who do not know is a way of promoting a certain brand through their links and by like reviewing their products or displaying their specific ads on your blog and every time somebody clicks and makes a purchase you get a small amount of commission from that purchase now there are a lot of brands that do offer affiliate marketing and you know those brands are like not uh, restricted to a specific niche and this is a slightly better way of generating revenue because you get to talk about and display the product that you know you might actually like with affiliate marketing it is important or with anything in general when it comes to blogging it is important that you only use or show or promote things that you yourself like or the brands that you know you agree with or you like because that's what your audience is there for your audience is there for you and you know you have to have a connection a sort of trust and your target audience would like what you like so for instance i am affiliated with sigma and a couple of other brands but like sigma you guys know about so i'm going to tell you more about it so what i do is that whenever i talk about sigma on my blog whenever i'm reviewing it now listen we always do add links regardless like whether it is affiliated or not we do add links to help our audience out to say that hey you can purchase it from here these are like trackable links so the brand can actually track from whose blog this purchase was made you know the referral link you can say like whose blog referred the buyer to actually land on our page and shop so that's how affiliate marketing works and it's a nice way for your audience your readers to actually support you too i mean they're not charged anything extra it's just that you get a little bit of commission to you know get your own blog running so i think that's awesome and affiliate marketing is definitely a way to go now you don't have to go out there and be affiliated with like a gazillion different brands just pick a couple that you actually like and stick to them work on marketing them promoting them and just make sure that you know you keep an honest voice whenever you talk about them so the third way to make money through blogging is by actually selling ad spaces on your own blog now how this works is that you put up a small banners of ads in your blog sidebar so that you know other people can check another blog or another business out while they're on your blog you can make a separate page on your blog which has details like your statistics and the type of packages that you're offering i have this thing like i have three four packages for bloggers and then i have like two packages for businesses and they're priced at different rates and what i do is that i offer them a space on my blog to advertise for like a month and at the same time i also promote their blog or their business by 
using my social media as well like i would give them social media shout outs and it works out really nicely so you can definitely try something of the sort pricing of the packages is totally up to you totally up to your stats and what you decide however it's nice that you know you check out a couple of other bloggers who sell blog ads so that you have an idea of how much you should charge as well i will link my blog's ad page in the description box so that you can check it out and have a better idea of how it works and what i'm actually talking about but the fourth way of making money through blogging is to do a sponsored post but again you have to have an honest voice if you don't have an honest voice your audience will be able to tell that and you know they wouldn't be able to connect with you and things won't work out so you know when it comes to blogging it's like a cardinal rule that you have to be honest to your audience otherwise things just don't work out so with sponsored posts what basically the deal is that a brand contacts you and they're like hey listen you have this a specific niche like say beauty and you have the kind of target audience we are looking for so we're sending your product to review it and we'll pay for it now again there are brands who are like very open they're super chill they're like you know what just review it honestly you don't have to worry about saying anything bad or good just say whatever the truth is and i personally love to work with such brands who are like that chill and that nice so like there's nothing wrong in accepting money for something that you like i mean the money is for your effort and your time and your creativity it's not really for like talking positively about something i believe negative reviews matter just as much as positive reviews if you genuinely do not like something and you know you have to do the sponsor post just be honest with the brand and tell them that hey listen these this is my opinion if you're okay we can go ahead if you're not okay that's that you don't have to lie to your audience at any point and you have full control of the content that goes up on your platform now a sponsor post for me personally like i look at them in such a way that you know as bloggers we get sent products like all the time and it's not easy for us to like review every single thing that to like in a particular span of time so if a brand is, is sponsoring me then i would give them priority now for sponsors it's best that you know you can um contact brands that you have already worked with and tell them that you know you like the product or whatever and they can sponsor it Uh, most of the time what happens is that if a brand wants to sponsor a blog post or something like that they would reach out to you themselves and they will just like put forward a deal and then you can negotiate now as a content creator it's totally up to you how much you charge it depends how creative you are how much effort and time do you think you put in and you are your own judge to decide the pricing of whatever you're presenting anyways the fifth way that you can make money through blogging is by doing social media campaigns now uh social media campaigns can be absolutely something that drives people crazy and you know what there's a reason and you know what i understand why look what happens basically uh, when it comes to social media campaigns is that a brand or a pr agency would contact you and they'll be like hey listen we have got this new product or maybe some old product and we are wanting to like you know promote it and we are running advertisements of it everywhere so we want to promote it through blog and social media as well so therefore we are reaching out to you now what happens in pakistan that most of these brands what they do regardless of the niche regardless of the following regardless of anything in mind they just contact like 20 30 different bloggers and they give them the same content to promote they give them the same photos the same captions everything and i think it is bloggers own fault as well you know they do not tweak the content according to the preference of their audience and what happens is that these campaigns can look really really spammy and annoying now i have done my fair share of social media campaigns i still do them but like now i'm more selective basically when i started blogging and everything that has been going on has been a learning experience for me and i've learned things through like trial and error but again i have never 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 believed in spamming really so social media campaigns basically run on facebook twitter and instagram twitter being like the most common platform for these campaigns and everybody's like we're going to trend the hashtag now uh which again is something that's like widely seen in pakistan not anywhere else anyways i hope things change for the better but you can again earn through these campaigns and it basically would work for you if you are a blogger who has a good social media presence which you should have as a blogger but what i see is that a lot of people make this mistake of just sticking to 
a certain platform and then they don't move on to another platform like if somebody is good with instagram they're super active on instagram they have like hundreds and thousands of followers on instagram but then they have only 1000 followers on twitter i think it's important as an influencer to have a balance on all your social media platforms and give some time to all your platforms because it really works out when it comes to social media campaigns and what i do with social media campaigns is that i am very open now to brands i always discuss the amount of tweets and posts that will go up from my own social media platform and i make it very clear that listen this much in a day or this much in a week is enough i'm like a lot more vocal with brands and you know what they would understand if you are open to them about it rather than just being like yeah okay i'll accept the money and just do whatever you say no 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 you are the influencer you have full control take that use that and again when it comes to instagram whenever these campaigns happen everybody's like posting the same photo over and over and over and over again and it looks so spammy and so annoying so what i do now is that like i tell brands hey listen i post my own photos i curate my own feed on instagram so if you can you know like maybe send me the product or whatever i'll take my own photos i'll put it in my own creative way and i'll post it that way you don't have to you know send me seed content uh, that everybody else is posting and i'm very clear about that so if they agree that's that if they don't agree that's fine um I'm not gonna go out of my way and just you know like post something that I don't like or something that I don't believe in something that does not resonate with me actually so what it does is that it sets me apart from rest of the bloggers when everybody's posting the same photo but then I have a different take on the same product and at the same time when I have control of you know like taking my own photo and doing whatever I want with that product basically I make sure that I do something that my audience would like, something that um, goes with what my branding is as a blogger. So I think that's very important and we all should take control rather than just copy pasting thing because you know what, when it comes to blogging you have to be authentic, you have to be original to stand out and I think it's very important and once you do that, once you stand out, once you're able to stand out, I think it um, increases your worth as a blogger as well anyways that's how it all works i hope you were able to find some cool tips and tricks from this video um, do definitely implement them if you have any more questions you can always comment down below i will reply to comments under this video i'll try to reply to as many comments for a week's time as i possibly can if you have any questions comment now if you're wondering how to contact brands for all of these things that i just mentioned you should head over to fatma's channel and watch her video out i will be leaving a link in my description box as well so make sure that you click and before you leave please subscribe to my channel and please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful it would mean a lot to me and it would actually help me out anyways take care of yourselves i'll see you next time bye